G'day guys, Dom here. So today we've got a little bit more of the knife show and tell. It's been a pretty full on week, like almost every week. Just been working on a bunch of um, friction folders for the batch I've been talking about forever. About halfway done, I still have to do five more with hand finished satin, with hand finished um, satin blades. And I also got to do um, maybe one more because I got the extra parts for it. But that's coming. I'm just waiting on my bloody stencil, which should he be here any day to get those done, which should be which should be great. I like to get those out of my hair. But besides that, I've been working some full customs this week and some other stuff, which I'm going to show you now. Uh, first up, this one here is a knife you would have seen already. This is my simplified contender. I made about 10 of these a while ago, and this is the last one. And the reason I'm showing you is because I took this knife and I sent this to uh, another YouTuber by the name of um, Cedric and Ada Outdoors. Uh, his real name's Pete. He's a great guy. He does a lot of uh, bushcraft and knife review stuff, all that sort of stuff. Uh, he's Australian and I bloody love his videos. I watch almost every single one of them. Not quite all of them because he uploads quite a bit and I don't have that much free time, but as many as I can. He did a uh, steel test with this, so he went, he took this knife, sharpened it up, and he cut a hundred and something bits of rope. And I also sent him my, um, my paramilitary here as well. Kind of a size reference as well here. But anyway, so yeah, go check him out, guys. He does great stuff. And yeah, just got this knife back yesterday and sharpened it up again. So it is screaming sharp. And this one here is actually on the website for sale at a bit of a discount. Just because it's the last one and I'd like to get rid of it so I've got a bit of um so I have some space on the side for new stuff. So that's that. Um yeah. Also, I finished up this this week. Well not quite, it still needs a leather sheath. Drop that off at the leather workers today to get that done. So there's my watchman design, just kind of a a budget pocket fix blade that I do. So the idea is you take this and it comes with this little leather sheath with an optional belt loop. And you can just chuck it straight into your front pocket. And size-wise, it's about the same length, a little bit more than a paramilitary in the pocket. So most people's pockets can fit this. And it's a nice little way of carrying a fixed blade. Uh, this one's Asa Stonewashed. With a red paracord, which has been treated with epoxy, which makes it rock solid. Ain't gonna come off without a fight nice and slim, jimping up top. I'm kind of debating with these ones, maybe adding a few centimeters on the end and maybe dropping the jimping just to kind of, um, maybe make it more of an outdoor knife. I could do that. I mean, I can just add an extra inch on either side and it'd be more of an outdoor knife. But I don't know, outdoor knives isn't really my, it's not really my market. Most of the stuff is more everyday carry related, but we'll see. I'm always interested in branching out and trying new things. So yeah, that's that one. Next up, we've got a bit of a full custom here today. So I don't do a lot of outdoor knives, as I just said. I don't do almost no bushcraft knives. I made one in the past and somebody saw the video I did on this and he requested something similar. So first up, Kydex sheath. Pretty standard. Nice retention on that. Rock solid, ain't gonna fall out. And this one here stands out because it has got the crazy, crazy mirror polished edge. Well, it's not quite a mirror, it's just kind of a, a side effect of how I make the knife. Because most guys, when they sharpen a, a Scandi up like this, they might just do it on 240 belt and call it a day. This was 240 and then a thousand grit roughly on the stones and then 5,000 grit on the stones and then 10,000 grit on the stones and then stropped like crazy. And it gives you this really shiny edge which just cuts like crazy. But it's not like a perfect mirror edge because you can still see some of the scratch of the sharpening stones. But it's damn close. And for an actual edge, I'm not hugely concerned if there's a few little minor scratches in there. Because I mean, you're going to cut two things and it's going to be scratched up again. Uh, besides that, we've got a really nice Asa stone wash and a rounded spine up top. So it's nice and comfortable. And uh, some LSD inspired blue G10 handles. So I did a bit of a, um, a Coke bottle shape here which gives you this cool little ripple effect on this, this slightly flatter area here, which contrasts well with a nice tight pattern near the edges where I kind of rounded it off a bit more. 
So it's a really nice comfortable knife. It's great in like a chest lever grip. So yeah, that's that one. And of course, yeah, crazy sharp and all that sort of good shit. And matching bead lanyard distressed hardware. And yeah, can't say I'm a fan of Scandi grinds, but for like wood carving and stuff, they're great. I just hate making them because it takes forever. Last but definitely not least, this is probably the most difficult Kydex sheath I've ever had to do. And you'll understand why when I show you the blade. So Kydex sheath, if it'll focus, it'd be nice. Just tech lock, pretty basic. And you can hear it's good retention. This is going to deserve a bit of a dramatic reveal. So, Warncliffe, two tone belt finish satin bevels, and Asus Stonewash flats. I really like how this one came out. It is just, it was an insane amount of work, and it was, um, it's fairly difficult because you got the angle of the blade and it's hologram, the two tones. But it came out okay, uh, if I say so myself. Quite happy with it. Getting the sheath work, as I said, was a bit difficult because I had to I had to pack out most of the areas. Like this area here, with the choil here, I had to pack that out with a bunch of these things, just out of Kydex. This area had up here had to be packed out. And then a shitload of tape and modifying and multiple sheath attempts. But I got it to work and I'm really happy with it. This is just an insane little, kind of a fighting knife design, really. You've got that, that negative angle there. Now, I don't recommend you go fighting with knives, but um, it's just as a conversation piece. Yeah, it do it. But yeah, cams my card handles. I kind of carved them up a little bit, gave a bit of a, a flintish pattern. You can kind of see it when I show it down this way, the little peaks and valleys of the, uh, the pattern there. Just makes it a bit more interesting. And then bead blasted like crazy with the uh, OD green liners as well. Really liking this knife. Feels really comfortable in this grip right here. And because of the negative angle, I reckon this would be great for cutting open boxes or just cutting anything in this sort of motion. Because as you're cutting it, this edge here is kind of binding with material and helping getting a deeper cut, which is, uh, which is great for boxes and that sort of stuff. And this is also like crazy thin behind the edge. So this is an insane slicer. And then everything of course rounded off. And one little detail that I added just as a bit of an experiment is I made two little um, chamfers right here, which gives you this really cool little area right here to look at. It's just a slight detail, but I quite like it. And uh, yeah, Details are important, especially knives. Like there's so many weight little things you can do to add a bit more um a bit more character to a knife. Like for instance the hardware, like these are brushed, but inside them, because they use black screws, you've got the little bit of black which matches with the black on the um the acid stone wash. So yeah, that's pretty much that one done. Actually, we'll put these out nicely for the end of the video. Because I've run out of things to say, which is essentially how all my videos end. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, go check out Pete's channel. It's good shit, trust me. And let him know I sent you. I'm kind of interested to see what he's going to say to me if I uh, ever send some guys his way. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you on the next video.